Hey guys, it's Sahar. I'm back with another tutorial after what feels like probably 10 years. This one's inspired by my beautiful friend on Instagram, Lucinda, who was inspired by Nikki, who was inspired by another makeup artist called NC. I'm going to leave the link to all their pages below. I put my little twist on it and a lot of you wanted to see a full tutorial, so here it is. First, I'm using a white liner just to draft out the basic shape that I want. So I'm going to be working on this in two sections. There's going to be an area where there's a purple to pink to orange gradient, and then there's an area where there's a red orange yellow gradient so first I'm applying the primer on the area where I want the purple pink orange gradient and I'm just straight up drawing right over my brow I'm using this eye base it's a wet tacky base it's very important if you do this look the way I did it's very important that your base is tacky so the eyeshadow will stick on it then I just use a tiny brush to blend that into my actual skin tone I go in with this deep purple eyeshadow. It's from Coastal Scents. It's honestly not that great as you can see, but like it was 98 cents, so can't really complain there, huh? And I just start kind of dragging that into the rays. So there are gonna be four purple to pink to orange rays and then five yellow, orange, red rays. I'm using a lighter pink purple eyeshadow to blend that purple. At first it looks like it's not gonna blend at all but you really just have to take your time with it. If there's ever any areas where I feel like the purple got too high, I just, I just pick up the pink on a tiny brush and start applying it. I do the same thing for the rays. It gives me more precision in the application of the color. And I just run my brush back and forth to blend the pink into the purple. I use this tiny brush again to blend the inner and the outer edge into my skin tone so it doesn't look weird when I apply my foundation. Then I'm going in with a more pink red shade and just patting that on before adding an orange shade and then I just keep going back and forth with the colors till I get the intensity and the blending that I like. Next I'm going to be working on the sun. I'm using that tiny MAC brush everyone loves for eyeliner for this and I'm using the same eye base as before and just drawing it on. So first I use a yellow eyeshadow. I tried a couple, but the one I really liked was from the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. And I just gently pat it on to the wet base. Precision is very, very important for this look, so you want to really take your time. After I feel like I've got the yellow pretty much everywhere I want, I go in with the orange and the red just to add a little bit of dimension and again go back and forth with the shades to blend them in. As you can see, I'm really taking my time with this because it's such a small space. It's very important that it's perfect. Now I'm going in with the same eye base and I'm drafting out the shape for the five yellow rays. I'm using the same brush that I've been using this entire time. And I like to do this in quick strokes just because I feel like I get more precision that way. If I mess up, it's okay, I can fix it, but I don't want the lines to be wobbly which happens when I work slowly. So for eyeliner and any types of straight lines, I just zoom and hope that everything turns out okay. It's also helping me kind of clean up the edges. There are some portions where I have to go over my brow hairs like this one. And so I just took my sweet time and really packed on the primer over my brow hairs. Then I went in with the yellow eyeshadows Again, you want to be careful, you don't want to get the yellow over the other colors. There is an area where the ray grows straight out of my brow hair, and that's right over the arch of my brow, so I make sure that my arch is pretty defined, and then just go back and forth, blending all the colors, placing anything that I need to be placed anywhere. Now I'm using the same eye base from P. Louise, but now I'm using the shade 0.5, which is pretty much white to give the cloud-like look on my eye. I'm using this very small brush from Sigma that has this like flat round tip that helps me kind of get that eye shape. It's kind of like a stamp and then drag motion. So here's this footage in real time just so you can see how slowly I am actually working. Like I said, it, you really want to take your time with this because if you make a mistake, it's really, really hard to fix it. Go ahead, sharpen the lines, and cover the rest of my lid with the same eye base. I go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit and use the shade Ethereal, which is like a light purple on my lid. Over the white base, it looks kind of like a white shimmer, which is nice. I like that look. 
Now I'm using glitters from OPV Beauty on this little glitter applicator by Makeup Store because it has a lot more precision. I used red, orange, yellow, purple, pink glitter exactly where I had placed the eyeshadows. This is obviously optional, but I really like doing this because it gave me another chance to make the edges more precise. Then I use a white liquid liner, draw in these little stars. And I finished off with these lashes from Iris Beauty in the style Ocean, just because they add a little bit of oomph, but not enough to cover up my entire eye look. I'm going on to my face routine, which is literally the exact same as every single other tutorial on YouTube, so, so I hope you enjoy watching me do the exact same thing you've probably seen like 600 times for the next minute. Alright guys, so here's the look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find all the links to all my other social media in the description box and, and let me know if you'd like me to do more creative looks as opposed to just wearable glam because I really enjoyed this and I'd be down to do it again. me better when I'm with you I like me better when I'm with you I knew from the first time I stayed for a long time cause I